Hi, I'm Tasi. And I'm Zach. And we are here from the Healthy Kids Coalition to talk with you about the benefits of eating fruits and vegetables. A few times during this video, you'll see this, which means pause the video so that you can think about or talk to your friends about something we've just learned. So Tasi, I know there are three important things that we're supposed to know about eating fruits and vegetables, but I can't remember what they are. Can you uh, help me? I can totally help you. They're not that hard, Zach. Okay. The first one is that healthy vegetables are good for your brain and your body. Oh, okay. Brain and body. I think I can remember that. Yeah. What's the next one? The second thing is that um, vegetables are full of vitamins and phytonutrients that you can just think of as fix-it workers. Fix-it workers. Yeah. That fix your insides when they wear out from working hard and playing hard and even keep you from getting sick. Oh, okay. Fix-it workers. I think I can remember that. Yeah. So, what's the third thing? The third thing is that you have to eat a whole rainbow of colors in order to get all the different fix-it workers. Oh, okay. Rainbow of colors. That's easy enough. I think I can remember that. Yeah. So, what healthy fruit or vegetable are we going to talk about today, Zach? Well, I'll give you a little hint. We're wearing shirts that are the same color as the fruit or vegetable that we're oh. going to taste today. So, did everyone figure out that we're wearing red today? Can you think of a bunch of fruits and vegetables that are red? Go ahead and pause the video here and see how many you can think of. Did anyone come up with pomegranate? That was a tough one. I didn't even think of pomegranate. So, let's play a game about pomegranate, Zach. Awesome. You know I love games. Yeah. All right, this game is called Leaf, Stem, Fruit, Root. Okay. It's where you guess which part of the plant pomegranates are. Oh, that sounds like fun. So ready to play? Yeah, I'm ready. So we have to guess whether this pomegranate is the leaf, the stem, the fruit, or the root of the plant. Uh, I you, think I need a hint. Would you like a little hint? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at it. Okay. Uh, can you find the leaves on the plant? Yep. Yeah, they're pretty easy. Pretty easy. And how about the stem that's holding the whole plant oh, up? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the roots you don't usually see because they're hiding under the soil. Mm -hmm. um, but can you find the pomegranate on oh, there? Oh, I found it. Oh, so now it's a little easier to guess whether it's I leaf, know. stem, mm -hmm. root, or fruit? Mm -hmm. So let's pause here and see what you can guess. Okay, I think I know. Did you guess fruit? I did. It looks like a pomegranate is the fruit growing from the stem of the plant. You're right, Zach. The pomegranate is a fruit. Wow, so could I grow pomegranates in my backyard garden? You can if you live in a really warm climate, but it'll take three to four years before the tree grows pomegranates. Oh, uh, I don't think where I live in New England is warm enough for that, and plus I'm kind of hungry right now. Even if you don't grow them yourself, you can probably find them at the supermarket. That's good. And they make a great snack for school or at home. So I'm a little confused about how to eat them. Uh, so to eat a pomegranate, you need to peel it and get all the seeds out. Ooh. We put a link to some videos on how to do that below. It can be tricky the first time. So wait a minute, are you saying we're going to be eating the pomegranate seeds? That's exactly what I'm saying. Isn't that funny? Yeah. They're sweet and juicy. You can pack them up to take them as a snack or you can sprinkle them on granola or oatmeal, mm. or I like them best on a salad. That sounds good. They make everything taste better. So, do you have your pomegranate seeds in front of you? Because here's the fun part. Now's the time you get to eat them. So first, take a close look at the pomegranate seeds. What do they look like? All right, now go ahead and pick one up. See what it feels like in your fingers. And now bring it up to your nose and smell it. What does it smell like? As you bite into it, don't forget to listen and see if it makes a sound. And lastly, take a bite and see how it tastes. Is it sweet or sour? What does it taste like to you? So here's a crazy fact about pomegranate, Zach. Yeah? Pomegranates were one of the first fruits to be farmed. Do you know that way back in ancient Greece, they thought that they were the foods for the gods? I didn't know that. That's cool. So why are these pomegranates so good for us to eat? Well. Pomegranates are good for us because they contain all kinds of phytonutrients and vitamins. Oh, don't worry. Just think of them as those fix-it workers oh, we're right. always talking about. Fix-it workers. And as usual, there are some with really easy names okay. like vitamin K, vitamin C, and vitamin B6, and potassium. Yeah, I can say those words. Um, yeah, those are the easy ones. But then there's some real tongue twisters. Tongue twisters like what? Uh, pomegranates also have anthocyanidin and punicalogen. Punicalogen? <laughs> That's cool, but 
You know, I'll probably have a hard time remembering all that. Do I need to write it down in my notes or something? No, there's only three things you need to remember. Okay. All right. So number one mm -hmm. is that healthy fruits and vegetables are good for your brain and your body. Oh, right, right. Yeah. They're good for your brain and body. Got it. Mm -hmm. Number two, mm -hmm. those healthy fruits and vegetables have all those fix-it workers that help, yeah, they help to uh, fix your insides when they wear out and keep you from getting sick. I remember that. Okay. And number three, you have to get eat the whole rain rainbow to eat all those fix-it guys. That's easier to remember. Can you remember those three things about fruits and vegetables? We'll pause here so that you can see how many you can remember. Thank you for watching this episode on Pomegranate. You know, you can watch us again at home with your friends and family anytime you want. And the next time you're at the store, think about buying some yummy pomegranate and have, having it for snack at home or at school. Let us know in the comments below what you thought about eating pomegranate seeds and if you eat them all the time or only once in a while. And I'm curious to know how you like to eat them. Also, let us know if you have any questions. We'll do our best to answer. Until next time, I'm Zach. And I'm Tassie. And, and now, now you know. know.